day in the neighborhood. Insert your Silent Hill slash Persona 4 jokes here with all this fog. And you're valid either way. It is Thursday, and we decided literally yesterday that we were going to make the drive to Katsukon for some reason. You know, because we're gluttons for punishment, I guess. Our butts are going to fall asleep. We're going to listen to the Warp Tour 2005 mix. Tag you yourself up. I'm anti-flag. Tag yourself I'm anti-flag and also Fall Out Boy. I'm also big thing in the kids' table. We just demolished half of this brioche. So we are on the road, got about six hours to go, and I need coffee as soon as coffee presents herself. Nico's try has cute flowers drawn all over it. And that is just so darn cute. Mine's gonna come out and it's gonna say something on it like, we hate you, <laughs> please leave. <laughs> we know it's you, baby big head. Mine is plain, but it's fine. Cause like, this is how you're used to your drinks coming to you. They don't always look all cute like that. But like, I thought that maybe, maybe someone would draw something on mine too. I'll draw like a shitty little smiley face on it and pretend like someone drew it for me. I can't find a marker or a pen, so I'm just gonna write it in my blood. Did the Blair Witch Project happen that night? We are about an hour away from our hotel and we are trying to get a chicken sandwich because we realized that Wawa, where we wanted to go, was out of the way, so we missed it. And then I was like, why does it keep getting further away on the map? And then I realized because we weren't driving in the way that I thought we were. So I don't really know how to work a map, but it's okay, because I'm learning every day. I am going to need sustenance and fuel for this weekend, or else I am going to just fall apart because I am like a small Victorian child that has not left my house in two years. My name is Gregory. My best friend is a rat. Are you actually mocking me right now that we didn't freaking get to go to Wawa and then we pull up on the highway and this is right here? I really don't appreciate your attitude. Don't remember how to use a freaking hotel card anymore. So we <laughs> got it into the, to the uh, elevator and almost squished Nico. I felt so bad. We made it to our hotel. It has the loudest toilet in the world, but at least we know it's working. So that's good. We even have a little balcony. Uh, yeah, since we decided last minute that we were going to this event uh we you know obviously didn't have a a room at the gaylord and had to figure something out literally yesterday are you glad to not be in the car anymore yes but you did such a good job thank you so much this was like the first time that nico has driven that long and i think that they did a really really good job the, the plan is we are going to see what the con <laughs> schedule is like see how late pre-reg is open but we're not gonna push ourselves and if we're too sleepy then that's okay only good vibes only only the goodest vibes the most goodest vibes around we had to doordash some food here but so far it's pretty bum we got some beautiful tacos going on i have this empanada we have this we bag have a of mysterious bag i think it's like some type of salad thing. full of something mysterious it was gonna be a silverware we're watching 30 rock this is what your parents do when they go to a hotel. Good morning, it's now the morning. I think, <clears throat> excuse me, gross. I think we get a little too excited when we travel and go away for things and then it's hard to sleep. Um, and it was also hard to sleep because it's like falling off, it needs to be resized. But someone decided to do something last night that Caught me off guard. I put a ring on it. It's so beautiful. Do the HSN. Oh yeah. yeah. This but ring is beautiful and is a half size too big. I am, and you are, Beyonce voice, Beyonce. We have gotten mostly ready. Seamstress no way, so nice. Is there anything this man can't do? I will say that if you ever have a chance to just room with like one other person for a convention, uh, that's great. <laughs> Not saying that I don't love being in a convention hotel room with a bunch of other friends getting ready, because I do. It's very special. It's a special place in my heart. However, getting to use the entire space and walk around in your underpants, not have to worry about everyone else's state of being ready and like everyone panicking about their costumes is really nice. So I can focus on, you know, only my panic. It's good. 
I've thought like three different times during this process of Nico putting on the spat that we were done. And I keep being like, oh my God, babe, thanks. When we get up and they're like, what do you, what do you mean? I'm not done. I love your Christmas socks, no way. Where the hell have you been? Oh God, Bella. So now we're outside and it's so windy. Oh my God. We tried to look so good and now we're going to be ugly. We were born in this line and we are going to die in this line. How long have we been here? I tried not to take note of it, otherwise I would be upset. A watch pot never boils in a line that you time will only make you sad. We're in the pre-registration line for two plus hours. And then as soon as we got out of line, we're like, we need to find whatever is edible and eat that. We don't even care what it is. And so we found these chicken tenders that they had out. And these, I'm not even trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be mean. I, I know to not get chicken tenders and like expect a lot. It's chicken I've tenders. been like downing it in ketchup so that like I taste mostly ketchup and not the stale bread they and chicken. They are so dry that it's like they're punishing me for eating them. It hurts. It hurts my throat. I'm upset. It is just it's this so. I'm not doing anything to it. It's like, it, it's, <laughs> it's actually hurting me more it's, than it's hurting No, me. I'm gonna get red here. It is like so hard. <laughs> this is so sad. I was I, just I, saying. I hurt myself. Nico was like, if we didn't get engaged today, I'd be having a really terrible day. <laughs> me too. This is the aftermath of me punching the chicken tender. Yeah, you are actually red. This little area that they opened up, this little marketplace is super cute. And I will be coming back probably 20 times this con to get this croissant and that one 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 and, that one and point to everyone that you love. And you can get like energy drinks, you can get coffee, uh, little snacks and sandwiches and stuff. So this is cool. We were in line for 40 years and then went to the dealer's room in the artist alley. So I did even get to show you this, the site that I've missed because I haven't even gotten to see it yet. We haven't even been in back coffee here yet. But check it out. The world is healing. Weebs are in the Gaylord again. All is right in the world. Maybe not everything, but it's getting there. Oh, no, yeah. We're getting there, and progress is progress. I think we're going to call an Uber, get back to our hotel, and then be geo mom and dad to, to party and dance for the rest of the night. Another thing that I wanted to share before I took this off, which made me really sad, is I, you know, I'm supposed to have two little clippy doos. What are those called? Ear, ear clips? cuffs. Ear cuffs, not an ear clip, ear cuffs. At some point of our three hour stay in the registration line, uh, one of my ear cuffs fell off. Whatever, it's not the worst, the worst thing in the world. The worst thing in the world that did happen, let me tell you, is that I walked around after going to the bathroom and didn't zip my pants back up. I'm like a menace to society. And I'm pretty sure like three people took a picture of me. So hopefully you can't see that I am a big freaking loser and have my pants unzipped. It's not like you ripped your pants like I did. Not yet. Oh God. Please. Not yet. We'll see. My fiance, everyone. Okay. Well, I have hair everywhere. I'm just walking here. This is how you show affection when you wear a mask. You just kind of like rub your duck bills on one another. But only do it with people you trust. <laughs> I want this in my house because why wouldn't you want to look at this face all the time? Come on. I saw somebody walking by with camera gear and I'm such a freaking dork that I tried to like zoom in with my eyes and see what they're shooting on. And these people were shooting on like a Sony camera and I walked by them like this. But, with but then I real like, like two of them. Yeah, like with glasses, like goggles. So I could see better, you know, because <laughs> it works in real life. At least for me. And then I like... <laughs> In there yes! <laughs> I walked into the background of their shot and I was like, <laughs> do it. But I think you should have been like this. If only, if only I had the foresight to do this instead. <laughs> but uh, yeah, somewhere there's going to be a video clip that exists of me on someone's hard drive where I'm doing this. <laughs> so, you're welcome. She sees everything. The rock voice. You're welcome. Look at her. A night, a nighttime beauty, a relic, a shining, an icon, a shining beacon, a shining a beacon of light. 
Yeah, it just like hand. zoomed in on my hand. No, look at her. Don't look at me. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Don't look at me. Look at her. I want to go on it for the novelty because it's really pretty. The other part of me is like, uh, I went on a Ferris wheel once and I wanted to die and I was so scared. So no, I would never do that. But it is really pretty. You told me I wasn't allowed to be creepy and now you're super creepy. What can I say? I told you I couldn't be anything but creepy. What if I told you not to be creepy because I'm like, that's my brand, TM. Oh, Trademark, no. put it in writing. It's my brand to be creepy, you can't do it.